little girl at the register, she gave me 30 damn bags for these eight little items I got. <laughs> I got confused at was tornadoes um, warnings everywhere yesterday. And now today it is 42 degrees. 42. <laughs> so this is why I'm sick. This is with my friends. Okay, y'all, I am in Walmart, and this is the vanilla chai tea latte that's at Starbucks. All you gotta do is add cinnamon and ice, and it tastes just the doggone thing, y'all. Just the same. But the prices have went up. I think it is, is it eight? Child, I don't know how much it is, but I ain't about to spend no eight dollars on it, on that little bitty thing. Okay, these are some cute shorts. Ooh. They're mid-rise. They're $24.98. Ooh, they're cute. I like these. And these. But not no $25. Here's some of the $14.98. Oh, they're cute too. They're little distressed kind. Okay, one more. Ooh, okay, y'all. These are $9.88. And they're like the same thing. They're cute, too. So I have to try all these pants on. I mean, shorts on. But they're cute. $9.88 and no boundaries. I came over here because Kiana said she wanted like some, um, some wide leg wig leggings. You know how the children dress nowadays. She want wide leg leggings, but I don't see any. Ooh, child. They want me to bend down, don't they? Oh. Okay, here's some, but they are for the for the grown folk. I don't see no extra small. Let me go over in her section, child. I need some button downs for work. But child, they $15.98 for one? Girl. Ain't no way. <laughs> I'm cheap as hell. But they cute though. Aww. Ooh, wait a minute now. These are really cute too. How much are these? $15.98. There's some capris. Oh, I thought these were like the ankle pants because we can't wear capris at work so I got everything clearance ten dollars nine dollars seven dollars I might need to go on these little racks hold on okay I guess we'll do a little mini haul I got some paper towel tortillas I got some foundation that I'm gonna mix with another foundation even though this is darker my other one is too light so once I mix them two they gonna work out great um, mouthwash, um, milk, soap, the sen for sensitive skin for me, some tortillas, mascara, cheese, um, this, this coffee, I'm gonna try this coffee, Gavalia, Javalia, however you say it, and some salsa. Okay, y'all. Child, that little girl, ooh. Y'all know I gotta look, uh, listen to my gospel. But anyways, <laughs> that little girl at the register, she gave me 30 damn bags for these eight little items I got. <laughs> I'm like, come on now. You can put the soap, the foundation, and all that in this um, mouthwash in one bag. You ain't got to put... She gave me one bag for each, except the foundation. She put the foundation somewhere. <laughs> like lady and then she put the cheese and the tortilla chips in one bag when she could have put the cheese tortilla chips and the milk in one bag no <laughs> I mean golly I mean I get you don't want it to break or whatever but it ain't gonna break it ain't I mean tear get you on to tear but it ain't gonna tear y'all it ain't gonna tear 
So now I'm going to have to consolidate all these bags to go up these damn stairs. <laughs> but thank you for your service, ma'am. Thank you. Because I sure didn't feel like uh, being no employee today at Walmart. I don't feel like self checking myself out. No. I don't been at work eight hours. I ain't come here to work. I was just coming in there for two things and actually looking for some work pants. I want some wild leg work pants too because all I have are those um, jeggings that I've been wearing at work. And I have a few pair of wild leg pants. Well, not wild leg, but you know, straight pants. Actual, really business pants. I got like trying up like three pair. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I got some ankle pants, like four or five ankle pants. But I want some pants, pants. I got some black ones on today. So that that really just made me look like I feel like I need to start back being like really business attire. Cause lately I've been casual coming to work. <laughs> but today I feel like I'm I'm all business attire. I'm you know business. I got on my business pants, my business shirt, and my cornigan. Lately, child, since I started working, I've been wearing jeggings. Jeggings, you hear me? And then don't care two shits about it. But anyway, no, I, I realized I did not introduce today's vlog. Today is Monday. <laughs> Monday the 13th, and um, this is my first, you know, my start my new schedule. I did not work um, this weekend. So today was kind of a little, I was a little antsy when I came in because, you know, I was going to have the burst. I was going to have all this backlog paperwork with the, you know, the uh, floors, the ERs and the surgeries. I was going to have that. So I was kind of scared on how, you know, it was going to look when I got in. I thought I was going to be overwhelmed with work to tell you the truth. But it wasn't so bad because my uh, boss sent out an email to the nurses and to the nurse manager to tell them to like for the weekend if we have weekend babies to just tell the parents to fill out the birth worksheet and leave it at the at the front desk well, leave it at the desk with the nurses and they'll get you know get get back to me or whatever and I'll just have to call them so they can make an appointment. And so when I got here I got a message from the nurse stating that she had one birth certificate packet that was discharged this weekend and then another one from to you know today that delivered yesterday. So they didn't have too many births this weekend because, like I said in other previous uh, videos, I can't talk. Previous videos, they had you know um, pushed the uh, the births back because of the new EMR system. EMR system, so they only had like one or two this weekend. So I don't know what this weekend is gonna look like when I'm off, but today was fine because I was able to get everything scanned in. I was able to do all the birth certificates except the one that um that got discharged. They left their paperwork there. So all I have to do is just call them. So and they were married, so that'll be an easy process. They don't have to come out and sign anything. They can just I can just email them all this stuff and it'll be fine. But yeah, I didn't introduce today's vlog. I just got on the vlog and started talking. But anyway, silly of me to think that I, <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I am headed home so I can, well, headed home. I'm at home, girl. I'm just all discombobulated because this man, how he parked right here? What is going on with these people and they parking? Okay, let me go. Who y'all? I am just getting off of work. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just getting off of work. Oh, my bun. Let me put this seat down. <laughs> Anyways, good afternoon. The release of information person bought me a nothing bun cake. Uh oh. Ooh, it's the red velvet with the chocolate in it. So I'm not going to have that. I'm going to drink this, the rest of my green juice, and give that to Joey. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, I got on camera to say, let me tell y'all a little scenario. Okay, my day has been great for these past couple of days, you know, without peanut and without, you know, it's just been a good, you know, thing for me. You know, it's been, it hasn't been stressful. I've been, work has been steady. But today, try to get... 
Let me let me tell y'all. Okay, so y'all know this is a small hospital where I work, and it opened two two and a half years ago. Like I was here when it first opened, cause it's a new hospital. It just got built two years ago, whatever. So I said all that to say, like a lot of our stuff is that is. I guess worked from our sister hospital. If a patient needs like something else, something that's not done here, they have to go to our sister hospital, which is like two, 20 miles away. And also, if a patient, like we get like complaints about, oh, my records are wrong, the doctor didn't put the right diagnosis on, or whatever, whatever. And y'all know we, as medical records, we cannot change nothing. All we can do is give them their records. And they always come to us to change the record. And, and it's like, ma'am, sir, we can't do that. So we've had we we've been having them fill out a, an amendment form. They fill out an amendment form and they give us all the documents or whatever. And I email it to the compliance manager, which is in at our sister hospital. So I email them all the stuff that you know that's required with the amendment. And I'm I wash my hands, I'm done. <clears throat> That's all I got to do. I ain't got to do nothing else, right? He can get in touch with the patient and the doctor or whoever he needs to get in touch with to correct their records. So, an incident happened last, was it last week or the week after? Whenever it was, whenever we went live, my boss was here and she ended up um, sending the amendment to the compliance manager and CC and me because it happened last week or whatever. So I get an email today about um, he CC'd my boss, the compliance manager, stating that this is a letter of some kind of letter stating, telling the patient that the doctor has, you know, did their part and it should be good in their records and blah, blah, blah. And for my boss, the my manager to actually approve the health information letter or whatever. So I get that. My boss had to approve it and then I have to I need to scan that letter into the patient's chart. I get all of that what he said. Then he gonna ask or say, yeah, ask my boss um, will your team be able to you know, send a certified send this certified letter to the patient? I read it. I had to read it like three or four times. I was like, he told me Will your team be able to scan into the patient chart and send a certified letter to send this certified letter that he attached to the email to the patient? Now, why would I need to send this certified letter to the patient? That's your job. Why? I'm the middleman. All I do is send the amendment to you so you can do your thing. And I'm done with it. This is the first time he's emailed me about sending me sending a certified letter to a doggone patient. I was confused. I was playing real dumb. I was playing real ignorant. And I sent an email to my boss. I responded and I was like, so why do we have to send this uh, certified letter to the patient? And where do we need to send it to? Because on the letter, it didn't say nothing about the patient's address or nothing. So why do we have to send it? And then I said, I don't know how to send no certified letter. I was playing real dumb, stupid, ignorant, and all the above. You hear me? Because why do I have to do your job? I did my part. I emailed you the stuff. You need to do the rest of it. What? That don't make no sense for me to send the patient a letter after you don't typed it up and sent it to me and my boss. I, I get you sending it to me for me to scan into the chart. But I don't do no cert certified letters. So when I told y'all I just sent an email playing dumb, she gonna, my boss gonna email me back. Well, let the um, get uh, the release of information person to help you. <laughs> no, let me back up. At first, I was like, I don't understand. I'm confused. 
And then she tried to explain to me what the situation was. I didn't even know the situation of the the amendment and all that. I knew what was going on, but what I didn't under where I got confused at was why do I have to send this dog on cert uh, certified letter letter? That's what my confusion lie. I knew all the other stuff. You had to explain that to me. But why do I why do the buck stop there? Why why he can't send the letter? What's the purpose? Yeah, I got confused. So she talking about to uh ask the release of information person to help you. So I told him. <laughs> me and the release of information person, we set that letter on the side and didn't do nothing else with it. Because it's like, I'm not going to do... He took the time to email me, my boss, about us sending a certified letter that he's supposed to be sending to the patient. That's his job. That's what I don't understand about this hospital. Y'all make it so hard for the patients to get, get whatever they need because they have to constantly go through our sister hospital when they need to have a compliance manager on site at our physical hospital so the patient can talk to because this patient have been here three times about this certain record that the uh, doctor done messed up that the doctor done fucked up the thing so I mean they need to have somebody to talk to because they're coming to us frustrated with us when we ain't got nothing to do with it me and uh, the release of the information person when that person came twice or three times we had to explain to her look ma'am we don't do this. We just release what the doctors done put on your chart. That's all we can do. Oh, hey y'all. Good afternoon. It is child it's been a couple of days later yesterday <laughs> I wasn't feeling my best I got up and came to work or whatever try to tell me why I left work at 10 30. oh I was so drowsy my body was aching like crazy my throat was sore I stopped by um Starbucks and got me a medicine bomb but child that didn't help so yesterday morning, I was fighting it. I was like, you know what? Joey was telling me to stay at home. But no, being me, I had to come on to work. And I couldn't make it. Child, I was just, oh, I felt horrible. So when I got home at 1130-ish, around 1130, <clears throat> I put my robe on. I don't even think I took, did I take my clothes off? I took my pants off. Put my robe on. Didn't take off. Didn't take off my makeup or nothing. Joey, I drank from the doggone Theraflu bottle, the whole damn bottle. Not when we had like this much left. I drank it all. <laughs> Eleven, probably twelve o'clock. I was sleep. I didn't wake up till around six, and that was when Joey was um. He was texting me, not texting me, but he came in the room and said, "Babe, um, I cooked dinner. You want to eat something, or are you just gonna call it a night?" I was like. I'll try to get up later because it was around 6 o'clock when he came in. I was like, I'll get up later and try to eat. So probably 30 minutes later, I got up and I ate and I went right back to bed. But luckily, luckily this morning when I got up, I wasn't so achy or like drowsy. I was My throat was just sore and I had like a little headache. I was like, well, you know what? I can make it work on this. So <sighs> that's what it is, y'all. I'm better. I still got a sore throat, but I'm better, y'all. So, yeah, I, I'm i getting off earlier well, earlier than normal. I think I, let, I clocked out at 320 because they said it's going to be a tornado morning. This is why people are getting, getting sick, y'all. A freaking tornado warning. You mean the other day it was 88, 90 degrees. Right now it's 76, but they say it's supposed to get down to the 30s. The other day it was like 40. So I'm like, look now, girl, make up your mind. So this is why I'm leaving a little earlier. Earlier, 
because they said it's supposed to start around 4 or 5, I think. Uh, uh, the warning is supposed to go into 8 o'clock tonight. So, I'm getting my ass about it. <laughs> Out of Dodge. Do you hear me? So, yeah, y'all. Uh, I don't know. I think it's something in the air because Kiana was sick earlier <clears throat> this week. Well, she's just now getting over it. And then, yesterday, when I left early... Um, I didn't know my the release of information person had left around 2 she said this morning when I got in she was like she was feeling it too so she left around 2 o'clock and then she come in this morning and she is stopped up too she's just drowsy her body is aching as well so I'm like lord do we have a COVID <laughs> lord do we girl I'm like mm -mm. That, was, that was no good feeling yesterday and if you know me, you know, if I get sick, I'm still going to work. I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to do that. But, child, yesterday, when I tell you I got out of Dodge, I got out of Dodge. Oh. Child, is that the tornado siren? Girl. Is that the siren? Or is that the wind? Child, that sound like a siren. Child, let me hurry up and get my ass onto the house. Ooh, child, look at the sky. Oh my God, good morning, y'all. <sighs> Happy Friday. Child, I had to stop by somewhere because my stomach is like about to touch the bottom of my feet. I'm so hungry. Oh my God. And I ate dinner last night. We had tacos and of course I made a taco salad. <sighs> but I ended up getting two taquitos or whatever, taquitos, cheese taquitos these little things and one steak and one cheese and then I got me some I got a Celsius because I didn't even drink all my coffee I just took like two or three sips and I'm like I don't want coffee I want something I got the pink lemonade and this one is the peach mango green tea I think I've ha I had that one already <sighs> but child it is packed up in here I was literally trying to find a parking space and these Four men was standing talking to each other in one parking space. So I just politely blew my horn and tell them to get the hell out the way. You see it's packed up here. Y'all gonna take up one space to talk to one another? Get get on the curb and start talking to each other. You know, just get on the curb. But yeah, it was damn near 80 degrees. Tornado weather. Tornadoes. Um warnings everywhere yesterday and now today it is 42 degrees 42 <laughs> so this is why I'm sick this is why people are still getting sick this weather is crazy man and I think the high today is supposed to be 54 or 58 if, if I'm not mistaken so if it's like this tomorrow I might put on my little sweatsuit that I got from Timu mm -hmm. Y'all remember that sweat, sweatsuit that I did in the TV wall? That was so, it was, it was really, really thick though. I feel like I'm going to be too hot if I put it on. It depends on what the temperature going to be tomorrow. But child, I am hungry. Oh my God. Look at this. I find this 
says alternate route because they're having something downtown well in their little so-called downtown area uh, well how far can I go before I have to find the alternate route are they letting us through road closed ahead of how far I think this is this the street I need to turn in. But anyways, y'all, I am off of work. Try what is this? Oh, oh my God! But anyways, y'all, I am headed home if I can find my way home. <laughs> I'm going to get my nails done. Can I go this way? Let's see. But I'm I'm about to go get my nails done and um Can I go this way? Or no? You know what? Let me put it in my GPS cuz this ain't this ain't given. Anyways, y'all, I decided not to go get my nails done. I don't know if I'm... I think I... I got the BGs. I got the bubble goods. Okay. I had that Starbucks... Um, what is it? Cinnamon Dolce. Ice Latte or whatever it is. And it was okay. It was pretty good, but I wouldn't go back and get it. But being that I didn't eat nothing else with it, my stomach is bubbling. Do you hear me? So I don't think I'm going to go get my nails done today. <laughs> Although I need to. But I think I'm just hungry. Because I really haven't had anything to eat but uh, that 7-Eleven, Taquito, Taquito, however you say it. Those two and a Celsius. And I think I had a Lunchable and that's it. So I think my sugar is a little bit low. Yes. Thank you. So I think my sugar is a little bit low. So I am in the water burger line getting Joey and Kiana something. I think I'm just gonna eat leftover tacos because I don't want no water burger. Thank you. Can I get a drink holder? Can I get a cup holder? Yeah. Whatever you call those damn things. They should be tired of water burger job, but Thank you. <clears throat> but that's what they want. That's the only thing I can. They decided because I'm on. I'm like right down the street. I just asked them like a. <sighs> I probably should have asked them earlier what they wanted to eat, but I thought they were still out and about because they had a lot of running around. Too. Thank you. <clears throat> they had a lot of running around to do because he had helped his friend's mom do something. So I'm thinking they're still out and about and I, I was just like, I just texted him, I was like, dinner? And he was like, I said, are y'all home? He was like, yeah, we haven't even thought about dinner. I was like, well, I'm on, I'm right down the street. If y'all want something, I can, you know, go ahead and pick some up. <coughs> Ooh. And they suggested just water burger, just something quick. Cause we were gonna go out to eat today, but we changed our mind and we're gonna do it tomorrow. Oh, but I thought I was getting better. I feel like I'm getting more congested right now. I don't know why. <sighs> but anyways, y'all, my stomach is oof. I don't need to drink no latte on the empty stomach. I don't need to do that no more. Oh gosh. Hey y'all. Happy what's today? Saturday and I know I look like death because that's what I that's how I feel today <sighs> my cold has gotten worse so we will be in the house today we were planning on going for a little outing going out to eat and doing all this stuff but child <sighs> I don't feel up to it I'm so congested I'm just drowsy and all of that but I did order some things and they came well I ordered some stuff from Shein and 
all of the shoes, all of my business shoes hasn't haven't come in yet. So I ordered um, something from Coach, <laughs> and it finally came in. Y'all know my y'all know Coach is my luxury uh, item because I I can't afford the Louis Vuitton and all that stuff. So Coach will have to do. So y'all know when I'm off of work, I don't feel like doing this hair. I throw on me a wig and a cap in a minute and call it a day. So that's what I did. I ordered um, something from Coach. And it came today. I ordered this cap. Isn't it cute? Oh my god, it's so cute. I haven't tried it on yet. So hold on. I finally it finally went on sale. I think it was this says 128. But when I was looking on the website, it was uh saying 175. So it finally got down to 150. I mean, got down to $50. And I was like, $50 for a coach cap? Let me just go ahead and order it. So, oh, it has the adjustable straps in the back, too. But yeah, y'all, I like it because it kind of goes with my purse. Well, it actually does go. I think this is a little lighter. But. They had a black one too. I should have ordered both of them. So. Okay, y'all. I got to get it adjusted. But I look a hot ass mess right now. But I like it. It's so cute. I may just throw on a wig with it. Or I may just wear my regular hair out. Once I curl it. Or wash it and then curl it. But it's so cute. Child, I hate that I can't go out today. Oh man, I don't put oil on this cap already. <sighs> but anyways, I hate that I can't go out today because I was gonna wear my little um T move jogging suit because it's cold enough for it and everything, but I'm just I just feel horrible. But my cap is so cute. Y'all I just got I sprayed oil on my hair because I had all that gel in it. And I just got oil in my cap. But it's still cute. It's still cute. $50, y'all. I think the sale is still going on, if I'm not mistaken. $50 for this cap. And then I had a black one. And then I think they had a lighter one. But I do want the black one because I have a black coach bag, too. So, But, yeah, y'all. I've been washing clothes. I think I'm just going to um, put on me a show. Netflix, Discovery Plus, whatever. Put on me something to watch. Because I ain't going nowhere today. We ain't going nowhere today. I... <laughs> I just feel horrible. Oh my God, I feel horrible. I need to wash my hair because I got all that gel in it from um when I had that bun. But yeah, yeah, I was just getting on camera to show y'all my cap. I was gonna show you the shoes, but they didn't all come together. So mm, that'll be in the next video. But thank you guys for watching my weekly work vlog. There are times when I, ch ch I didn't even introduce the video. <laughs> I just got on camera and started talking. But y'all, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, for subscribing. Share, like, comment. Um, do all that, child. Um, yeah, how many of y'all like Coach? Do y'all do y'all think it has progressed over the years? They have some cute stuff now, Coach does, for cheap. I mean, for cheap, cheap. So, yeah, um, let me know if y'all like Coach. And what Coach stuff do y'all have? I need to get another wallet. Because my wallet has, you know, had its days. Um, but yeah, I like Coach. But anyways, y'all, drop down in the comments and uh, let me know if y'all like Coach or not. Um, yeah, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.